Hey guys, so this is gonna be a short video. Um, basically, I encountered another issue while mounting up the radiator. So basically, what happened is I tried to start up the bike, and when I turned on the ignition, I got an error, injector error, and two numbers, 12.2 and 13.2. The fuel pump also didn't prime. So let's take a look at the error that we got. Probably it's gonna show us pump right now. Um, so to check the errors, switch on the bike and push up on this button over here. So in this case now we got pump error, which is still related to the relay because the same relay powers up all the fuel system. So now I had my bike already dismantled over here since I was doing the radiator. Basically, this is what the relay looks like over here. I removed the default one already. This is usually mounted over here behind this coolant hose attached to the battery box, but mine was hanging around here for some reason. So to check if a relay is bad, the most obvious answer is to just replace it with a new one. But in case you don't have a new one and you want to check it anyways, just connect a 12 volt power source to the small pins at the bottom. You should hear the internal electromagnet click. If not, that means that it failed and the relay is bad. I will post a screenshot from the Ducati workshop manual now on the screen for you guys to follow and have more information about how to troubleshoot these relays. Make sure that there's no corrosion over here. It's really common to have corrosion on the wires or on this part over here. It's because it's sitting a bit low and water can get up to the connector. So what we're gonna do is get the new relays over here. I have two. These are the new relays. Let me show you. So this is the old relay and this is the new one. And I'm gonna replace them both. The other one is for the fan controller for the radiator. I'm gonna replace it anyways, even though it's good. Um, these are just four euro each. So while having the bike dismantled, it's worth it to just replace them both. So we have both relays in now. We're gonna start up the bike. As you can see, the error is gone now. Let's just and start the bike. I'm quite happy that this actually worked. I mean, it's a really cheap fix. So if you guys have the same error, I recommend you doing the same thing. Uh, don't forget to clean up the corrector from corrosion and replace the relays. It's a really cheap fix. I hope this has helped you and thanks for watching.